Hello, um, I'm going to explain to you um, how to integrate Salesforce with another system. This is a, a playground, um, the work. So I'll go to setup. As you know, you go to setup for access configuration tools. Type integration. You got you get integration section. You get APIs and the rest. Let's talk about APIs. So we are going to talk about this API integration of Salesforce. You come to um, this page uh, at the very top. You see API with WSDL. WSDL stands for Web Service Defined Language. It's uh, um, similar to um, web service like RAS, but it is uses, uses the uh, uh, config file, uh, the markup language uh, file called Whistle. So you can create a, a um, uh, Whistle uh, for SOAP APIs, uh, SOAP stand for Simple Object Access Protocol, originally developed by Microsoft. You can do a Google search on SOAP. It has a long history, about 20 years. Um, so we have a couple of sections here. Uh, Enterprise Visitor, it is strongly typed. Um, it is, you can connect uh, or integrate with another Salesforce um, org, the partner WSDL uh, whistle or uh, loosely typed. So you can um, connect with another partner with necessarily uh, uh, a Salesforce, some other one. Apex, you can create a Apex whistle, uh, Apex programming language whistles and metadata whistle um, to download the metadata. Uh, uh, web APIs. This is tooling whistle. Um, this is um, this is a st strongly type enums. So you you use this. This is for delegated authentication. Um, it is to generate and download the delegated authentication whistle file. It can be used for any organization. This this is for client certificate. Client certificate is used to download the client certificate used by workflow outbound messages. Um, there are SOAP, outbound messages are SOAP API, yeah. So, uh, enterprise packaging version settings. Uh, this version settings are used if an API called doesn't include version information for an installed package. This ensures a backward compatibility. Partner package version settings is same as earlier one. This is for partner. Uh, this version settings are used if an API doesn't include the version information for an installed package. All right, so let's go off the first one. Uh, Enterprise is still is strongly typed. Let's uh, go to a new tab. How it what it generates. You go come to this page here. So what you do is you click generate. It generate enterprise whistle. Takes some time because it's downloading. It's a fairly large tech file. This is a whistle file. It's in XML format. You can uh, uh, you can see the complex and object and then. The type definitions here. Um, see the account and the account name. And if you go, it's pretty much defined the whole or of your hog or uh, information in so for SOAP APIs uh, to access from another system. So this is the uh, account clean info. Uh, is another. Uh, these are the object. If let's go down here. It's a, it's a very long file, but it contains pretty much everything here. Let um, 
So let's go down very fast here. Uh, the work order, there are types are defi defined here. Uh, you can see uh, we have enums here. Here, the enumerations are defined here. If you go down here, further down, you can see APIs here. Create response. Uh, sequence, uh, return the uh, sequence time, save results. Um, this is the namespace, this is a TNS, this is a send email, API, you can use the APIs, this is uh, in SOAP format. Um, yeah, so these are the other APIs you can use. What you have to do, you have to provide the whistle to another system. So what they do is they uh create stubs or the, um, out of whistle they accept uh, um, our Salesforce system uh, via uh, soap api that what they do access yeah um let's go to that uh, this is partner whistle is a loosely type let's look at that uh, what it looks like so you can this is loot loosely coupled it has address you can it is has a subject and address location they're not strongly typed not very much tied to the salesforce um, let's go down here these are above is these are enumerations here error codes or enums let's go down to show you these are the complex name describe results there are types yeah these operations api search set the password so so external systems can use this with the um, so this is about you can go through the documentation here it's a very helpful um, I would recommend uh, uh, you can see this for additional document you you go to integration and APIs link here is right here um, it has all the Salesforce information here. Um, you can have a look. Uh, it's very handy. Salesforce is very good at uh, uh, documentation. And they have in trailhead links, videos, blogs. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the video.